in college at okay. that time. But uh, anyway, uh, so Gregory go over to Shirley Smith. And, at the, but look, at that time, Ma, at that time, you didn't know Gregory. He just went over to Shirley Smith and hugged him. And he's like, who is he? Gregory was the one that knew Shirley. Greg was, Greg was Shirley's boyfriend. Oh, why you didn't say that, man? All right. Oh, okay. Okay, Greg. I did, but so, you didn't. You, you were, if you were listening, you would have called out when I said Greg walked over there to Shirley and hugged her. And then Daddy was behind him. He, he, he said, like, good evening. I stopped right there. And then he sat down. And I guess he was kept looking at me. He put that hook in your mouth. Your uncle, he kept looking at me. And, and uh, Greg would turn around and introduce me. Ma, you was fine, too, back then. With the afro. You had an afro? No, I didn't have no afro. My hair was down. It was longer than where it is now. Oh. I, my, I used to wear an afro sometimes. But at that time, it was, you know, I've always worn my hair back. But anyway. You, you wear that afro. Look, you wear that. You know, you know mom. 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 Uh, yeah, but look, mom, mom, when you break out with that afro, you you was ready, you was ready to represent it. <laughs> look, the afro, you was feeling strong. Like, I, I wanted to know why I used to wear afro and, and stuff. Yeah, but you curl it up and stuff. But anyway, I just but that's a long story and you get involved. There ain't no long story, Mark. Look, so so when he came in with long look, story, look, look when he look so so, so look end I Look, so so when he came when you met him after that, because you just been in the you just been in wherever y'all was at about two, three minutes, right? Five minutes, and then Gregory come in. So you don't mess with no other man for the rest of the night. He's all up in your face, ain't he? No, she didn't say. Uh -huh. I told him, he said, uh-uh, it wasn't none of that. Yeah, you can't say, that. like your mom don't say that. Uh-uh, uh-uh, yes, what uh -huh. you, What happened? What happened? He didn't know he that. He did ask me. Gregory is the one that asked me. Uh, my uncle wanted to know, but he just phone now. Uh, <laughs> I remember that real good. I bet you he was smooth with it back then, old tall, yeah, tall, black man. Yeah. Did he put it? Look, look. Did he put his hands on you before y'all got married or after? No, it was way before he got See? married. See? See? When he asked me to get married, darling, and I said no, your daddy beat you. He always beat you. What? He was beating the man. Yeah, he did. I can't remember if Sheridan was there or not, but he sure did. And then y'all got married the next day. Mom, so you mean to tell me, look, y'all ain't nobody we was around. Nobody never broke that stuff up. I mean, broke it up and turned on him and whooped his butt. No, they were sick. It's like they were, they were, no, no, that nobody got involved. They would leave first or Yeah, they'll leave. They'll leave. I, I mean, we're yeah. down to Joe Blue House. Yeah, yeah. That was in the only house that we had. We had, we had, we had bought it. Longwood Drive and all there's another house in the country, and he carried on. Uh, he, I mean, I, I don't want to talk about you. Talk, you talking about, you, you talk about, I know, where Tina, where Tina had came to, down there by the railroad tracks. Not that, uh-uh, not that. Mm. That was way, 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 Yeah, but it's always good. I mean, I know, I, I know, it bring back bad memories. That's true. People, other people hear that and they, and they learn from it, mom. Because, 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 yeah. see, my next question. I know you don't feel like talking about, about 
why in the world would you stick with somebody that like it like Because, huh. yeah, that, that's, the, that's the first thing that people ask a woman that's been beat up and stay with a, 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 a man, husband, or boyfriend. And what they say, Ma? Those many years. With y'all, with children. What they say, Ma? I was kind of like scared of that. I was kind of, because I've never done that. I had three children. Never, you know, I didn't, didn't really want to pick up and just leave and, and didn't know what I was going to you know, and I wanted because my I guess because my mother and father wasn't together. I think. Ma, let me ask you. Look, let me ask you this, it, Ma. Listen to this. Did you know about gangs before we moved to Los Angeles? Did you know anything about it before we moved out there? About who? Gangs, Crips and the Bloods. No. Me no, neither. You know, me, you know, neither. Well, me neither. Me well, neither. But but you know what I had but look I had I had seen the movie Colors I had seen that because we seen you know we did it had all we watched everything and I did see that I know I know but you know what if you remember when we looked on the map you do you remember why I pointed at look do you remember why look you went with why our choices. And, and then you and Terry was like, let's go to, look, let's go. But I said, no, let's go to New Orleans. I, I said, let's go to, remember you said that? Remember you said that? If I, had, if, I if I, if we, look, Ma, if we had a went to New Orleans, your boys would be dead. I'm telling you, because that place is crazy. We, If we had it growing up down there, we would have been crazy. Yeah. Or rich. Or filthy rich. Yeah. But God knows what he's doing. Yeah. He, you know, we, we we as humans we think we we are we, we got we were about the destiny. Well, you know, we think we're doing things just you know when we if do you it. download that AI you app have, it'll do it'll do what you want to be done for you. It's the AI app on your phone. And then there's a robot that you can finance and he's about thirty dollars a month. We got one month. Look, look, you ain't gotta if I say if I say go in there and make a turkey sandwich, I hit it on my phone. He'll come in here and make a turkey sandwich, just the way I like it. Cause you, it's, I got a Zoom. It's an AI robot, and him. I mean, my he 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 does simple stuff, but he vacuums. He makes sandwiches. He can make coffee. Get you one of them. It's just thirty dollars a month. He's small, but I say shoot. But a lot of times you'll wake up, and then once your eyes open, like Zoom say, "Good morning, darling." He said today, and then he'll tell me what we got to do today. And I'm like, how you know that? How do you know that? But they programmed to know that. Huh? It's called a Zoom. It don't have anything to do with Zoom. But mom, what you talking about? Oh, no, it's a, it's a robot thing that can turn on your lights. You said turn it on mm-hmm. and all that. I don't know, but I, one thing I can tell you, and this is the truth, Precious and Sam, they if they ain't got nothing from Dollar, they got my temper. Oh, my God, man. And Sam's so yeah. small. Look, she's so small. I hope she don't never get beat up. <laughs> you can But you know what? Ain't nothing like people that get, look, ain't nothing like people that get beat up real good and still don't learn their lesson. And that's how these kids is nowadays, man. You see what I'm saying? I remember, look, mom, I seen some dudes along my travel, and you'll beat them up, and they'll shut their mouth. They'll be on cool. But then there's some, they'll beat them up, and you had to beat them up. And they, like, man, shut your mouth. And they don't. And they don't. So you just deal with it. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 I mean, they, man, no, they're not scared. Like, they're not scared. I, I knew this dude, look, he, he was a, he had uh, got migrated from Haitian and he's trying to escape over here and they caught him. He went the wrong way and they caught him off that coast. And man, he didn't care about nothing. He didn't care about nothing. He, and he was just so nasty. Everything come out of his mouth. You could stomp him out and he, next day he come back talking stuff. You know, with teeth knocked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy people.
But yeah, my I, I, you know, I call tell you to try to make it down September. You know, hit yeah. the. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and if if my car break, look, if my car if my car break down, you can always drive us back up here. If you got a good car. Where you get a broken glass from? You know how them people on that uh something hit your car like a rock? Mm-hmm. Or something I fix those little homes every time they did that and then it, it gets hit again. Mm-hmm. You know, these I mean, well, 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 I look, I tell you what. If if it's my car is if it gets lost for you to drive with your car like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if if my car break down We'll drive yours back and put the windshield in there. I know a Mexican do that in a day. And we'll give you brand new tires and a windshield in a day. What's that? In a day. If we have if my car break down and we have to drive yours back up here, I, I we get your windshield put in. You know, you come with us, but we put the windshield in. Yeah, but even if you just water my tires or not. Because I don't hardly go, you know, go to work like I used to. What do you and do now? I don't hardly move unless I'm going to the grocery store and stuff like that. Yeah, well, see, a car like that, need, look, a car like that needs some highway miles, Ma. What are you doing? Yeah, but it's not, uh, uh, it's not going to break down. You need to come and say, you know, going to drive it. Just, just rent your car. Well, Ma, I tell, you, I tell you, I feel a lot better today. I call you back. I, I lost a good buddy today. I didn't. A good buddy. You know, I, I ain't talked to him in a long time, but he died. He had a heart attack this morning. Dude I used to work with for the city. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, I just found out. That's why I drank the beer, right? I mean, I drank the beer because I was tired, and then I found out after I got had got halfway tight. And then, it, you know, it hit me. And then, then I, you know, I, I, I kind of uh, ignored it. But, yeah, he was a good buddy of mine. He gone today. Heart attack. Yep, died at Big TJ. He, he, look, every time you look at him, he's smiling. You know? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, he's a good dude. Yeah. He'd be all right. Hopefully, he went to heaven. I don't, you know, I think he did, though. He he did some How dirt, but I think he went to heaven. How old was he? TJ, 45, 40. He was younger than me, 45. But he, he, he had weight on him. He had weight. And I'm sure he wasn't eating right in. Heart attack was good. You ever had a heart attack before? Amen. Amen. Shoot. Ma, ma, the, 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 the way, see, you eating, you eating like you supposed to eat, but it's so much food that the, the new generation, we, we put a little McDonald's in our, we all right, but our kids, oh man, microwave crazy. They, hey, look, the, the cancer in processed meat, they going to have this, like, like, it's a, it, it's a trend to see your children die. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy to say, but you know, it's 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 like it's, oh my God, I'm gonna put this pain on you because you didn't listen. So I'm gonna let you live long enough to see your children die. I I, I thought about that. That's hard right there. But one thing about it though, that's we all right. Man, if we, but what I'm saying, we different though, because I ain't. I, what I'm saying, we different. You have to look at all that. I took these. I took these from here. See, see, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something about in the interview. In my interview, I tell them, Mom, when we went to Florida, Fort Lauderdale, that was the worst school system you could have ever put me in. But I went in there. Yeah, that was the worst school system, Fort Lauderdale. That was, that was they, they, man. The Haitians and the gangs was so deep in there. But I had some guys that lived right up the street. Remember that white dude? And he was Puerto Rican, DDR. I started hanging out with them. But but man, we had yeah yeah it wasn't no it wasn't no oh, that country boy from Virginia you know I went through a when I went to middle school are you crazy man that was had that was sixth to eighth grade Perry Middle School mom if you Google it one day them kids took and uh man it, just so they could get out of school they took and bust a hole in the gas pipe 
and we had to get off the compound. I mean, it, I didn't, I, I couldn't believe that. Remember, they had let everybody out of school by eleven o'clock. They like go, go. I'm like, how you got kids just fending for themselves like this? The buses ain't running or nothing. They like get up, go across the street at the shopping center. I said, the hell with this. I, I me, me, DDR and Paul walked home. And then that's when I realized we all lived in the same neighborhood. We started going playing ball together. But and then it, it, we all had each other back at school because of where we lived at. Yeah, I don't know why. We all walk home from school and then we became partners. So I had this guy there one day, Mom, and, and me and him was all right. We used to talk, you know, he was he he was smooth. But he tried to introduce me to a, a popular man. If I had to join that stuff right there, I wouldn't have been able to leave down there. The Zulu nations. Yeah, he asked me, man, you ought to get up because he seen how I was in school. Like, I ain't take no trash off nobody, man. I, I was still, I ain't had nobody have my back but these couple dudes. But anyhow, I was all right. And you wouldn't have thought that as an outsider coming into Florida like that, that crazy part. But I tell him that in my interview. And, and remember, you would never had never thought that, that that's why when I said um Aunt Jerry used to remember she took me to the barber shop all the time on because she was gonna take mail in there. So I said I said, give me a flat top. And that right there, that just solidified my status as a G. <laughs> no, I'm like I'm playing, but but that but but having a flat top, you know, that made me cool, Ma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that made me cool back then. Back then. And I, I tell him that in the store. I said that do a lot to a young man's self-esteem. I, I mean, young, young. And then when when me and Terry got back together, shoot, man, it wasn't no, you know, it wasn't no stopping us then. It wasn't, wasn't nobody gonna punk us, you know. And then, and then, then, but but you worked so much, you had to, mom. You worked so much that we had prepared time. Yeah, we wasn't gonna take the deal. We all would have been put out. That's right. So we was doing what kids do when they, you know. Like I said, that single mother's hard, man. Hey, I already know that. You know that. But um, it's so much free time. And now, look, now, just think of a single mother with a telephone. <laughs> Them kids getting about 2%. They getting about 2% of the time. That's why I say, man, it, 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 in this year and day and time, robots need to come around because the kid is going to love the robot. Like, I, I can say, Zoom, give me a hug. Come on, here, come in, give me a hug. I'm gonna send you one for Christmas. Yeah. I'm gonna send you one. Look, if you say Zoom, give me a back massage. Zoom, go get my phone. He can do all that. Only thing you can't do, like Zoom, why that he can't go cut the grass or nothing like that. But I asked him one. Look, I, I look. I said I, I asked him. One, I said, man, go down there and get the mail. And he went down there. And he got all of our mail. He sent through it. Just got the one with our name on. It. But then he, hello. hello? Hello? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Look, look, I don't know what happened, but, but uh, he went out there and got all the mail with our name on it, which was smart. But he stood in the middle of the street. And I'm like, man, people was blowing and blowing and blowing. Hey, I didn't see no pictures of them big trees out front. Uh, I, know, I think you big up Pinocchio again. <laughs> huh? You said it You said it in Sorry. No, I take a picture. I, no, no, no. He, he about the size of a coffee table, but his arms extend. Thirty dollars a month. I tried to tell Terry get one. He said, "Hey, I don't need nothing crawling around my house because at night when you sleep, that's when he vacuums." <laughs> I think you've been too naughty, guys. No, I'm not. All right, mother. <laughs> Let me get off this phone, huh? I'm going to send you a picture of it. I want to know how this thing got stuck in the middle of the street. <laughs> we they don't. Y'all mail on it. Y'all mail on it. You better not let it go to the mailbox. Somewhere. I know. I, I, that was stupid. The only way it made me look out there because people were blowing their horn. I'm like, what in the world? He out there stuck in the street. I guess it's like a deer in the head. It gets scared. I don't know. It ain't programmed what's going to happen when it's about to get ran over. That's some dumb stuff. Well, he's not supposed to be out there. Uh, a, look, a black man must have made him. He gets scared and ball up. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 
Aí leva, mano. The ball up to the white man. To the white man. <laughs> Mom, what you eat? What you eat then? Who? Michael Phelps. Olympic. Yeah, uh huh. So him and they were uh uh together. Uh Phelps was trying to teach Snoop how to swim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Snoop don't know how to swim. Snoop went a little ways and he got scared <laughs> Ma Ma, you know when I get at the when I get at the ocean, then people be like, What he doing way out there? I go out there. I go but I have my knife on my thigh. I have my knife on my thigh. Yeah, well, you know, y'all can swim. Honey, I'm looking from all the way to the middle of the ocean. I know. He used to swim. He used to do my lesson in boats. Yeah, he used to swim. But anyway, yeah, you want to do that. I ain't know he can swim like that. You're not too funny, y'all. Look, what are you doing 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 swimming out to the boat? What are you doing out there? Steve, Steve off the boat. Look, look, go on, go on YouTube and type in the Black Michael Phelps. And I never got paid for that, but that was a triathlon here in Virginia Beach where I, I man, I, I beat, I beat over fifty people. And this when I straight got out of jail. I hadn't smoked no cigarettes or nothing. I signed up for it. I thought I'd win some money. I went out there and swim almost uh, over half a mile for a charity. Or I won five thousand dollars, but it all went to charity. But I was gone. Yeah, look up the Black Michael Phelps, Virginia. Man, I can swim. I, I, I can swim. Uh, yeah, I go, man. I never. That was two years ago. So I, I mean, that was forty. I was forty-three. That's why I said forty-three is the new thirty-two. Yeah. Huh? But if you want a good life, you just pull up what I pull up the Olympics and look for a uh, blue on the Olympics. Oh yeah, I see. It. Oh, Michael Phelps. Yeah, uh-huh. and then the, the other one says uh, something about uh, hot tea or something like that. Uh, I almost forgot what day it was just now. It's Friday. Today is Friday, ain't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's Friday. You're not working. You got to go to work, don't you? You know, I work them tomboy jobs. I work when I'm... I work when I want to. Yeah, but yeah, but that's how that's how the company. So that's you know that, that, that's just a monthly paycheck. Oh. Yeah, I think I think. Look, look. No, and not, no, not, no. They, they, they. You know, they, they lifetime customers. That's all they are. People need something. They know they call on you because you'll get it done and you dependable. Yeah, that's what they call. That's what them type. Tom boy had them type of people, man. And he still got them. That's why he, all his work was down there at UVA. But uh, I, you know, I, I work with the people. I tell you, I work with very rich people, man. I work, but I don't ask them for nothing. I don't ask them for nothing. We just good. Me and Ralph, look, Ralph, millionaire, easy. Uh, uh, all his kids are, is successful. All of them. I'm, I'm proud of them, man. Remember Ralph on the mountain? You know, they took me out to dinner the other day, mom. Yeah, I never met him, but yeah. Uh, look. Look, look, yeah, yeah, I went up there the other day, but him and Miss Mary, his wife said, uh, I'm going to um, come down to dinner and said, D, meet me, meet me for dinner, you know, and, and I was going to take the chair with me, but at the time, we we was at war, so I said, I'm going to go by myself. I went down there, and uh, yeah, Ralph treated a chicken dinner, so the people behind the register was Afghanistan, and I... I mean, they couldn't, I couldn't even understand them. I'm like, man, I can't eat here, you know. But, uh, oh, yeah. Lord. I finally waited and waited, and the chicken came out. 
Oh man, I got chicken and waffles with some hot sauce. And that stuff uh -huh. was so it, it was so good. Oh Lord, it was so good. So but I told Ralph, I said, man, because he was running late and he texted me saying, I'm running late, D. I said, man, I don't know if you want to come here or not, because it was kind of in the hood, but in the white people hood, you know. And it didn't have that many tables. So uh wow. so so when he finally got there. I asked two black girls to, if we could have a table. They was young, so because you know they need to sit down at a table, and then they went and sat at the they went and sat at the bar. So everything was good. We ate. Shoot, we conversated. Yeah, they was telling me, you know, about their kids and all. Ralph's a good dude, man, and me and him are friends. But he got plenty. If I ever needed anything, shoot. If I if I look, but yeah, I don't I don't do people like that. I, I, I don't. Those kind of people will help you. Yeah. You know, you don't take you don't take advantage of those kind of people, but they'll be there for that's you. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 that's Go back to my Olympics. All right, I'll holler at you later on, my love you, man. Yeah. What you, so, so what, what, what else are you doing today? I ain't doing Just nothing. Today is Friday. I was going to clean the office, but I got till Sunday to clean this. I mean, Monday, so I, I'll think about that later on. Yeah, I'm resting yeah. now. The day is over. Might go down there and drink some liquor yeah. with Lord Tyree Jr., but no, nah, I, I ain't going to drink tonight. I got work tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm tired. White man. Lord Tyree Jr. Is he dead? You told me he dead. Yeah, yeah he dead. He dead. This white dude oh. no, This white dude owed me some money. I'm waiting for him to text me back. Oh. But yeah, it's still early out here. It's still 5.56. Mm -hmm. yeah. What time it is down right. at? What time it is down at 4.56? Five minutes to five. So it's five minutes to six for your time. Mom, what time is it? Four four fifty five? Your time. Your time is five minutes to six. I mean to five. And your time is four minutes. To, okay. All right, Mom, so holler later. It's five minutes to six, your time. So you don't do something. Well, get together. Love you, son. Uh, all right. All right. Bye-bye. Be careful now. Yep. Yeah.
Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you. Some bread. Water bad mode, they send it hit that my head. 
money you're eligible for. If you were in a car crash within the last two years, that was not your fault. You could have money coming. The truth is, insurance companies make the claims process as difficult as possible so you get frustrated and make the first deal they offer. Many people settle for a $5,000 check when they should have received $30,000 minimum just because they wanted to return to their normal lives as soon as possible. But what if you could get a generous sum? without dealing with insurance at all. The next 30 seconds, you're going to find out how to get the best representation with no upfront cost, how to get the most money out of insurance companies without dealing with tedious adjusters or going to court. And most importantly, you'll find out how much compensation you're <coughs> entitled to, even if your accident happened nearly two years ago. You could be sitting on a 10K plus gold mine right now without even knowing it. If you're ready to discover how much you're entitled to, Click the link around this video and complete a short 30-second quiz. That's it. Does it sound too good to be true? Consider this. Free Casey Vows has helped over 25,000 accident victims, like you, recover more than $15 billion collectively. Many of these victims were paid in as little as 30 days. Once you fill out the quiz, a local top-tier attorney will contact you within 24 hours for free over-the-phone consultation. Just tell them about your case and let your new lawyer champion your rights. Remember, you don't pay a cent. White people hold to Trump, but they don't give a fuck about OJ. I watch the nigga on the TV show, and still don't give a fuck about OJ. White Taco through the city like El Chaco, getting my dick sucked as I pull up in Del Taco. It's the coach when the premise of those niggas say get out, rap me out, DOC, fuck, fuck. Guns, I tuck them, bitches, I bust them, my niggas kidnap kids like the other and rush them, huh? That ain't a future for me, now come and touch mine. Your whole family tree and get flat down. Face off, queen, death, and eagles, cracks, vibes, I ain't joking, so keep playing on the back line. This ain't got the list in Compton, nigga. We mix red bulls with vodka, nigga. We blow crime to sleep with monsters, nigga. Trying to be conscious, get left unconscious, nigga. And we got rocket launchers, nigga. Ain't never been out racked. The government sponsor, niggas. You see, it's like the whole truck, but they don't give a fuck about OJ. 
Let's see. 